Welcome to Texas today, I'm Adriana Lopez. Available in a variety of shapes, styles, and colors, terrariums have become quite popular, and the options are endless. Aside from adding a splash of greenery to your home, terrariums help us to better understand different ecosystems while also improving our health. Anthony Robinson, AKA Mr. Terrarium, is back this time with a fun do-it-yourself terrarium project. Welcome back, it's so nice to see you again. Oh, nice to see you too. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited because we're gonna build a terrarium today. But before we make it, can you remind our viewers about your business, Energy Gardens Terrariums? Well, I have a plant lounge, well, it's plant lounge, I call it, uh, in Deep Ellum. Uh, you can come by and buy any type of plant you want, or you can come in and build your own terrarium or build a moss frame have a lot of different options or just come and hang out with me. Why do you think terrariums are growing in popularity? Um, people, I'm not gonna say they're lazy, but they're low maintenance, <laughs> they're, they're easy, and they add that flair to your home. <laughs> well, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not very good with plants. Like, I don't know how to water them or when to water them, so I feel like this would be a very good option for me. Yeah, these are cool. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so what do we need to make one? All right, these, all right, so we're working with a container that doesn't have any drainage holes, so when you water it, the water needs to go somewhere. Okay. So the first step we're gonna do is add about an inch of sand. Is that what this sand is for? Yeah. Like drainage. You want to do it? How much do I put in? About that much is cool. Okay, we're not going to water it as much, so just kind of even okay. it out. Perfect. Um, sometimes you can add gravel at the bottom. Okay. Um, Should I? Yeah, you can. Perfect. Look, guys, I'm building my first terrarium. <laughs> Here it goes. And you can just go around the side because okay. the gravel is more of a, for the aesthetics. Okay. Here is the uh, gravel. So what do I do next? All right, the next step, we're just gonna fill it up with, with soil. Okay. So let's get some soil here. I have heard a lot, of, a lot of people say that there are a lot of benefits like when you're dealing with plants. Is that true? They bring peace, they bring tra tranquility, they connect you to nature. So that's my whole thing. I want people to, I like selling plants, but I like to make sure they know how to take care of them as well, cause that goes a long way. There's a the soil. What do we do next? Some more soil. Let okay. me let me just grab it. I grab it because I want to I want to put a lot in there real quick. You're the one that knows exactly how much you need. <laughs> so a little bit more. Some more soil. So in addition to terrariums, what other things can we build in your workshop? Uh, you can come in and build moss frames. Um, you can come in and uh, I do repotting. If you have a plant that you're afraid to repot, okay. Um, they, I come in and help you do that. We'll do it side by side together. Um, TV terrariums, TV um, terrariums, shoe terrariums. You can put plants inside of shoes. Sometimes people want me to help them with their animal enclosures. So it's it's unlimited. <laughs> that is so cool. I feel like at your shop we don't only have a good time, but we also learn a lot. Yeah, you learn so a lot. So. Yeah, you learn a lot. Uh, we we talk about everything. Um, is I, the main thing people always say, hey, I can't I can't take care of plants. And I'll ask them, well, how many kids do you have? Oh, two or three. I'm like, well, you take care of the kids. You can take. <laughs> if, you take, if you can take care of your kids, you can take care of the plants. Exactly. With plants, it's just, hey, you, you got to know what type of plant it is, what, what family what it is. is it. Yeah, because for example, succulents, you only water every three to four weeks. Cacti, every six to eight weeks. A enclosed terrarium like that over there in the lamp, you don't water it at all. Oh. So you just have to understand, does it have drainage? If it doesn't have drainage, is there sand at the bottom? If there's not sand at the bottom, no drainage, hey, you need to repot it, put some drainage at the bottom. So I gotta ask a lot of questions when, you know, when we talk about it. So how do we put the plants in right, there? I'm afraid the, to, I was afraid, I was afraid to pull it out. So we gotta, well you, can, well, you can start pulling it out, but okay. we gotta make a large area for it, cause that's one of the big ones right there. So I just like to go in and okay, make an area for it. And let's see how, all right, so it's a little tall. Let me take off some of the soil. So oh, gently, okay. you want to take off some of the soil. Don't be too rough with it. Okay. I loosen, it yeah, loosen the roots up a little bit so they can catch on to the, to the new soil. And then you sit it in there okay. and tuck some soil around it. And the soil shouldn't be tight, right? No. Or it doesn't matter. No, I mean, it's, it's okay. You, you, it won't be too tight, but I, I, you're on the right track because they don't like compact spaces. Okay, Yeah, perfect. like a, a, a loose, porous soil. Oh, here's another baby right here. All right. So just pull it out like that? I'm yeah, just, yeah, you're good. Perfect. Oh. Should I right. remove Yeah, a just little a little bit. bit. Just tickle the roots. That's what I like to say. Oh, I'm tickling There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear the laugh. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Is that good? Yeah. There you go. 
Here goes yeah, and just see how you want it positioned. I like to tell people to pretend you're a tiny person walking around and how you would want your uh, scene to look, so. Oh. Okay, there it is. There you go. Then just good? make, yeah, then just make another area. For people that are interested in going to your store mm -hmm. to build one of these, mm -hmm. how do how do they sign up? Well, they can go to my uh, my website at energygardens.shop, um, and I have a calendar on there, and they can select their dates, time, and number of participants. Okay, so I already put all the plans in here. What's <laughs> next? What's the next step? The next step. All right, so this you can you can go with sand if you want. Okay. You can go then you can go with the gravel, but the toppings don't really matter. So I like to add sand in there. All right. All right, so you can add sand on around around the side and in the middle. Perfect. It looks so pretty. I'm making a mess right here, but it's no, okay. it's all right. <laughs> this is kind of like the final product, right? Yeah, exact, exactly. So a plant this size, you can give these plants like a couple of ounces of water each every three to four weeks. I, I like to tell people it's not about watering a lot of your plants. You get to know your plant. I don't want to put you on a, a set schedule with a set amount of water. Get to know nature. Um, get to understand how your plant feels if it's, if it's you know, it kind of, if it's thick and, and, and it's not, you know, limp, then, it's, then you're good. But if it starts wrinkling and it's limp, then hey, it may need some water. If it looks too juicy, you, you see it kind of sweating. That's too much water. Maybe too much water, so. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, well this has been awesome. Thank you so much for joining us today, Oh, Anthony. no problem. To learn more or to book your class with Anthony, visit his website, energygardens.shop.